The year 1492, potentially the most historic year in Western civilization. It was then that marks the date when European explorers sailed west, coincidentally discovering the Americas. This year also marks the beginning of a 500 year Spanish Inquisition, which was the expulsion of both Jewish and Moorish peoples from the Iberian Peninsula. Keith Chavez is an expert on crypto Judaism and he has done extensive research on Jewish people during the time of the Inquisition. We'd have to go back to the Columbus. Most of his crew, the, all the cartographers, the navigators were Jewish. The colonies basically were comprised of mostly of Jewish people who were then becoming crypto Jews. In fear of being executed by the Holy Office of the Inquisition, Jews not only hid their faith while living in Spain or Portugal, but they also carried this on into the Americas. Consequently, they created a dualism. They were forced into being Catholics certain parts of the, of the week, and then on the weekend, Friday and Saturdays, they secretly practiced the Jewish uh, customs and traditions. In New Mexico, crypto-Judaism still exists. Many families still combine aspects of both Judaism and Catholicism, and local anthropologists recognize the importance of this continuing journey. Well, recently in New Mexico, they've been struggling to uh, assert themselves as an ethnic and religious group. Although scholars debate some of the characteristics as well as the existence of crypto-Judaism, it is a fact that there are murals, DNA evidence, and religious artifacts that tell the untold stories of Jewish history in the New World. Common last names like Sanchez, Duran, and Chavez are a few of many surnames experts say have Sephardic Jewish origins. Those family names are traceable through any number of these books that I have or through Spanish Inquisition records. Those names frequently pop up as being members of those who were accused of being Jewish. Keith Chavez is a frequent guest to UNM anthropological classrooms and his presentation on crypto-Judaism has influenced many future researchers. And for some students it has even led them uh, to rethink their own identity and even their career plan. So I've really appreciated his coming to my class. Thanks to the efforts of Chavez and others, New Mexico's hidden history is becoming well known. Reporting from Albuquerque, this is Erica Sparza.